What's up guys, how you all doing? Adam here and I am back for another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about not just my favorite action camera, and I'm not just saying this because I've got it. There are reasons which I'll come on to, but actually probably my favorite camera in general. And that comes down to the fact that it's just so flexible. Now this camera is the Insta360 1R Twin Edition. I'm looking at Mason because the name of this camera is a mouthful. Let's admit it, it is a mouthful. Insta360 1R Twin Edition. Okay, now, the Twin Edition means that you get the 4K camera and you get the 360 camera. Now, in addition to that, I've got a whole bunch of accessories. We've got the bullet time um, thing that you spin around your head to get some cool shots. We've got the tripod, which works really, really well, and the invisible selfie stick. So there's a bunch of extras you can get to this. You can even get a full-blown one-inch sensor, which from what I've seen really does look incredible. The only problem with it, it seems it's got a fixed focal length, but apart from that, it looks great. The thing I love about this camera is how much you want to use it. And with the old saying as being, you use the camera that's with you, that is true. And a lot of the time you use your phone, even though it's not necessarily the best thing that you would use because it is always with you. The great thing about this camera is you want it to be with you because of what you can get out of it. The 360 part is the bit I love. That is the bit that, to me, just makes this an incredible package. And I'll tell you why. You can get this camera, you can attach it to pretty much anything you want. I use it regularly on the scooters when I'm out with my son, even when I'm on my own. Sometimes I just put it on the car when it's a nice day. You can put it on the front of your bike, you can put it anywhere you want, and you don't have to worry, am I in the frame, what is it looking at, can I see it on the screen, all this kind of stuff, because it sees everything. It sees absolutely everything, because it's 360. So when you've got your footage, all you do is go into the app, into your computer, whatever the case may be, there's applications on, on both variants, and you literally set the framing of all of the shots tell it what you want it to do, and off the back of it, you get a really nice video in whatever format you want it to be in terms of the ratio. You can have like mobile phone format, you can have um, desktop format, portrait, landscape, cinema format. You can have anything you want at the click of a button. Editing is ridiculously easy. The app works incredibly well, and I just love it. I literally do love it. The quality out of the 360 camera is definitely more than acceptable. You always take a little bit of a kind of degradation in quality because of the fact that you're splitting the sensor between uh, two lenses, but it's still absolutely incredible quality on a smartphone, still very good quality on a computer, and in my opinion, looks great. The quality is not quite as good as you get out of the 4K lens, obviously, because this is a full half inch 4K sensor, whereas this is kind of a 5K sensor split between two lenses. So it definitely is slightly less on the quality scale, but more than enough for what you want to use it for. The other thing I love this for is the modularity. It's incredible. You've got the ability to break out the brain, which also has the LCD screen on it. That ability gives you also the ability to flip that screen, having it facing you if you wanted to see into that. You've got the ability to switch out the camera, like I say, 4K, 360, one inch. You can do whatever you want. And then in addition to that, you can also very quickly flip off the battery and away you go. And they've managed to do all of this whilst maintaining the fact that it is waterproof, which I think is just unreal because when you start to look at all of these different connectors and sensors, you think to yourself, well, surely it needs a housing or something to be waterproof. But actually, no, this thing you can take into a swimming pool, into the sea, down to a reasonable depth, and it's gonna to continue to work. And when you piece everything together with this camera, the invisible selfie stick that makes it quite literally look like the camera is floating along behind you 
when you're in a car, for example, as you've seen in the footage, or hovering in front of you like a drone. It literally gives you that effect. The 4K sensor with the stabilization and a really, really nice uh, focal length gives you that ability for that action cam type footage. The 4K footage is not quite on par with a GoPro. It's not quite on par with a GoPro, but it's not that far off. If you put it into your video editor, add some sharpening into it, add a little bit more sharpening into it, you're getting pretty close. What I will say is that the footage that does come out of this 4K sensor is a little bit more natural pre-sharpening than a GoPro, but it doesn't have that sharpness. So that's the only kind of sort of thing that you'd look at when you're comparing it to the GoPro. But apart from that, in my opinion, this thing blows the GoPro out of the water. The modularity, the flexibility, the 360, all that stuff, to me, makes this the perfect action camera. And not just the perfect action camera, like I say, but just a perfect camera to just take around with you everywhere. It's so small, it's a little bit smaller than a GoPro. You can quite literally put it in your pocket. I get about 50 minutes of recording time on 360 and a little bit longer on the 4K camera. The bit rate's great, it goes up to about 125 megabits a second. Good codecs. The application on the phone, I find it's a little bit cluttered. They give you all kinds of details about all of the different types of shots that you can do. Um, but it is a little bit cluttered. It's a little bit hard to kind of navigate your way around. I wish they would just simplify that a little bit. And then the one, the application that they put give you for the Mac, I find that just a little bit simple and it could do with a little bit more. So if they came to a kind of nice mix between the two, I feel like we'd be exactly where we want to be. Now some of the shooting modes that you can get with the uh, Insta uh, 361R are truly revolutionary. The only problem with them, and you can see them all in the application itself, is that they take a lot of work. So to set up a shot that might be like a three second video that looks incredible, and they do look incredible if you look at the demos, it's quite a lot of effort that you have to put into it to get that shot. You've basically got to put your tripod on the floor, set up your camera, turn it all on, and then you have to do things like jump up and down all the way around the camera to get some of these really cool um, shots out of it. So it does take quite a lot of effort. I personally prefer the idea of you bolt this to whatever it is that you're in at the time, whether it be on your person, on your head, whether it be on the back of your car, the front of your car, whether it be on the handlebars of your bike or the rear of your scooter, whatever it may be, press go, get the footage, get the 360 footage, don't have to worry about framing, get it into the editor, get out of it whatever you want, frame all your shots, do all the really, really cool effects that you can do with a 360 camera and share that footage because to me, this thing is literally made for sharing incredible uh, video, and audios to a certain degree on social media. It's a social media king. Whenever I've put videos up of the footage that I get off the back of this 360 camera with all of the cool effects that you get with it, I get so many people saying, how on earth did you do that? How did you do this? How did you do that? My family literally think I'm some kind of wizard when I send them the footage that I get out of this camera because it does look unreal. And I think that's what gives you most joy when using this camera. But all in all, and I'm literally not saying this because I've got it, I'm saying this because I want to use it. Whereas most cameras, I think I wanna take it, but I can't be bothered. This one, I constantly wanna use it, and I think that's what makes it an incredible camera. That, with the modularity, the flexibility, to me, is the only way to go as far as action cameras go. So if you are looking for something like this, I would genuinely highly recommend it. And if you do go and get one, shoot me over some footage because I'd be interested to see what you guys get out of it and let me know how you get on. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead, smash that like button for me. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. We've got loads and loads of cool videos coming up and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.